Hi, I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading. Today we're taking a look at a pair of deluxe Mosier percussion double barrel shotguns. These shotguns were originally manufactured as deluxe flintlock shotguns around 1800 and were subsequently professionally converted around the 1830s to percussion. They have nearly identical ornamentation. They are equipped with gold blade front sights with stylized gold inlay spiders. Canon Tordu in gold inlay in the, on the breech section of the rib. Mosier left in Munchen, signed in the gold banners surrounded by gold scroll work on the breech end of the barrels. Dished rear sights on the standing breeches. Golden borders and eagles with Mosier on the right in Munchen on the locks, silver mounts with serrated borders and acorn finials, and half link stocks with checkering, raised relief borders, acorns, scroll patterns, double headed stag designs on the right side, and downed reposed stags on the left behind the cheek pieces. These are both 34 inch barrels measuring at a 20 gauge. Just one of these is a work of art on its own a sculptural piece that could be displayed in a museum or an art gallery, but to have two nearly identical through and through like we have here is astonishing. It's another level of craftsmanship that I think many today would have trouble or difficulty reaching. Starting at our butt stock and moving forward, we have an iron butt plate back here on both of these pieces. It features an acorn at the top finial across the butt plate tang, and then has three simple borders, one on either side and one in the center of the butt plate. Our butt plate comes out with this pronounced point at the rear. This encapsulates our first butt plate screw, and we have a second butt plate screw in its typical location, about two thirds down the butt plate. Accompanying that flat toe is a matching engraved toe plate with similar borders and the acorn finial, just like we see on the butt plate. Moving forward, we have a rather blunt, rather plain crest across the butt stock here. And then we have a double headed stag relief carved into the side of our butt stock here. Beautiful carving, really fascinating and cements these pieces as game hunting pieces. I love seeing motifs like this on exquisitely fine muzzle loaders. Even though this is a piece of art, it's a functional piece of art. Across the bottom of our flat toe here, we have a sling swivel on this piece in particular going into the stock. We have its pair up here at the forward end in one of our ramrod pipes. Notably, its pair has only the sling swivel in the butt stock, not the swivel up here on the forend is no longer present. We have a rather short wrist on these pieces. It is checkered, it flows up into some beautiful carved borders around our lock mortises. Around the tang here, we have some carved leaf scrolls. Both locks on both of these shotguns have been converted to percussion professionally in the percussion era. This isn't a pair of pieces that were converted in the 20th century or the 21st century. We believe these to have been converted in the early 19th century during the percussion era. These were likely arms that somebody paid quite a bit for, loved them dearly, but when the transition came from flintlock to percussion, wanted these to still be top of the line hunting arms. And I think somebody with the amount of money to afford the amount of just gold alone we see in these pairs, it makes sense that they were able to afford having them converted. Our lock plate mortise carving here has an acorn motif at the rear of each lock plate. Around the entire lock plate, we have beautiful gold inlay. At the center of the lock, we have the aforementioned gold eagle with a Mosier in Munchen. So we have Mosher on this side and in Munchen on this side. That wording is reversed on our barrels where our left side barrel or the top barrel as you're reading has Mosher and then in Munchen 
on the right side barrel. Much like the gold inlay here on our lock plates, the lettering is done in gold on top of our barrels here. That is accompanied by two dog-like serpents or beasts at the base towards our breech here, which turn into beautiful floral skull, scrolls and leaf patterns, terminating in a small symmetrical leaf scroll with sprouting flowers. Towards the breech, we have two running leaf border bands here. The gold does not stop with the barrels. Our barrel tang is flanked with gold bands through our rear sight, culminating with our rear tang screw, which is also surrounded by beautiful gold inlay. Forward of our locks on each of these pieces, we do have some carving here. Forward of the lock, we do have some relief carving here. It is simple, not nearly as exquisite or ornamental as we see behind our tang or with our dual headed stags. Matching the motifs on our toe plate and our butt plate, our trigger guard is done in a very similar manner. We have line borders on each side as well as the center, and we have an acorn motif at the front and the rear of the guard. Matching the scroll work forward of our locks, we have an ornamental scroll at the front of our trigger guard. And then we run into some checkering here in the forestock. And again, some light carving with an acorn across our figured forestock here before we get to our ramrod entry pipe, which matches again the acorn motifs with carving on either side, as well as an engraved acorn. And then our borders on either side and through the center lining up with our entry pipe. Our barrels are held in with a barrel key rather than a barrel pin, making for easy takedown and cleaning. The barrel key extensions match with the acorn motif on either side. From there, going forward, we have a very plain double barrel muzzle loading shotgun pattern. We have a rib in between, a slight rib underneath, housing two ramrod pipes forward of our entry pipe. They feature slight wedding band ornamentation on either side. Nothing really too special there. We do, however, have more detail than we typically see up here with our front sight on both of these shotguns. Instead of a small circle, oval, or teardrop pattern, we have our gold bead front sights set in a matching pair of gold spiders. And not just like a friendly spider. We have, a, we have spiders here with big fangs <laughs> coming out the front, just adding a, I don't know, kind of a cool factor really to these arms as if they weren't cool enough already. You can see on the pair laying down in front here, we have a very similar pattern across the side plate or left-hand side, I should say here, where we have checkering, scrolls, carving, lock plate mortise carving, gold inlay around our lock. Very simple percussion locks on these, very well done conversion, I would say, very appropriate, uh, obviously for the time and the quality of these arms. Something interesting to note here, both locks on both shotguns still retain their safety on either side. So these arms could be placed in a stalking situation or a moving and hunting situation. They could be placed on full cock. The safeties would then be set. The safeties on these arms presumably can be deactivated in a quieter noise level than the hammers could be set into full cock. This gives you the added advantage of being able to move around with your arm on full cock without putting any of your hunting partners or dogs at risk until you have game in sight. Rear of our lock plates through again our fairly short wrist on these arms. We have some checkering and then again some exemplary leaf scroll pattern relief carving going through our long cheek piece terminating with our downed stag relief carved motif at the rear of the buttstock on our left hand side. A, just really, these are an exquisite pair. They might be overdone for some. They might not be enough for others. 
Artistically, though, they are done to the max. They are gorgeous. They are refined. The gold is just wonderful. It's just a nice, bright tone on an otherwise darkened pair of shotguns here. I'd like to thank you so much for joining me on this short tour of these Mosier percussion double-barreled shotguns. I would like to thank the Rock Island Auction Company for giving me the opportunity to share these fine arms with you here today. If you'd like to learn more about this and other antique arms, I encourage you to visit the Rock Island Auction Company YouTube channel to learn more. Once again, I'm Ethan. I love muzzleloading. Thank you so much for watching. We'll catch you next time.